Canada's military is always working to keep its soldiers safe and effective on the battlefield. In 2025, General Dynamics Land Systems Canada unveiled their latest creation, the LAV-6 Mark II. This is the newest version of the light-armored combat vehicle, often just called the LAV. It's an upgrade to the trusty LAV-6, which has been the backbone of the Canadian Army's ground forces for years. The Mark II version brings fresh tech to make it even better at fighting, moving, and surviving in tough spots. This vehicle shows Canada's push for stronger defenses in a world full of challenges. It's not just for show. It's designed to help troops handle everything from peacekeeping to full-on combat. The LAV-6 Mark II looks a lot like its older siblings. A boxy, armored body about 6 meters long and 2.7 meters wide, weighing around 13 tons empty. But don't let the simple shape fool you. It's packed with smart engineering. At its core is an 8x8 wheeled setup, like a supercharged Humvee on steroids. The wheels handle snow, mud, sand, and rocks with ease, thanks to a new suspension that soaks up bumps. What makes the LAV-6 Mark II a game changer? It's all about balance, fast movement, strong defense, and clever tech. Armor starts with steel plates that stop bullets up to 14.5 mm from all sides, plus add-on ceramic kits for extra punch against rockets. Inside seats absorb shocks, so soldiers don't get rattled in explosions. The LAV-6 Mark II's real star is its firepower. Gone is the old 25mm Bushmaster chain gun. Now it's a stabilized 30mm XM813 Bushmaster cannon. This beast fires 200 rounds a minute, up to 3 kilometers away. It blasts light tanks, bunkers, or trucks with high explosive shells, even programmable ones that burst mid-air against drones. Paired with it is a 7.62mm C6 machine gun on the side, spitting 800 rounds a minute for close threats like infantry. Up top, a remote weapon station lets the commander safely control another machine gun or grenade launcher without popping out. The big upgrade? A twin launcher for anti-tank missiles like the Javelin or Spike. These guided rockets lock on and slam heavy armor from 4 kilometers away, curving over hills to hit weak spots. Plus, spots for loitering munitions, smart drones that hover, scout, then dive bomb targets. Smoke grenades and jammers round it out. No need for a huge crew, the gunner aims with joysticks and screens. In demos, the Mark II shredded mock targets while driving full speed, proving it's lethal on the move. This vehicle isn't stuck in traffic, it's built to go anywhere troops need to be. The upgraded powertrain and brakes let it climb steep hills turn on a dime and dash across fields. In tests, it outruns older models by 20% off-road. For long hauls, it hooks up to army trucks or flies in C-130 planes. Safety is key. The double V-hull redirects mine blasts sideways, cutting injury risk by half compared to flat-bottom trucks. Energy-absorbing seats and padded walls protect against jolts. Ballistic armor blocks, heavy machine gun fire, and optional reactive panels explode outward to stop incoming rockets. Anti-drone jammers and smoke launchers add layers, pop smoke to hide, or jam signals to blind enemy gadgets. Digital screens replace old gauges, linking to army networks for real-time maps and drone feeds. The commander can chat with HQ or call in airstrikes from the turret. Upgraded sensors spot threats 5 kilometers away, day or night. It's modular too, swap parts for recon, engineering, or medical roles. In 2025 trials, the Mark II integrated AI to predict enemy moves, making it smarter than ever. Overall, these capabilities let a small team punch above their weight. One lav can scout, fight, and evac under fire, giving Canada flexible forces for peace ops or wars. The LAV-6 Mark II is powered by a Cummins diesel engine, pushing out 450 horsepower. That means it can zip up to 100 kilometers per H on highways, faster than many cars, while sipping fuel for 600 kilometers range on one tank. The light armored combat vehicle story starts back in the 1990. Canada's old armored carriers from the 1960s and 70s were wearing out, especially after tough missions like the Gulf War. 
1994, the government kicked off the Light Armored Vehicle Project to build something new and affordable. The first big hit was the Lab 3 in 1999, made by GDLS Canada. It was a wheeled 8x8 design, 8 big tires for speed on roads and rough ground. The LAV-3 saw action in places like Afghanistan, where it saved lives but also took a beating from bombs and bullets. By 2009, Canada spent billions to fix and upgrade them. In 2011, a $1 billion deal turned many LAV-3s into the LAV-6. This upgrade added better engines, armor, and tech to keep them going until 2035. Over 660 LAV-6 now roll with the Army plus 360 support versions called Armored Combat Support Vehicles for jobs like ambulances and repair trucks. The LAV-6 fleet is already everywhere. Since 2017, they've backed NATO ops in Latvia, hauling troops through Eastern Europe. At home, they help with floods and wildfires, towing gear to hard spots. In 2024, Canada sent 50 ACSV versions to Ukraine as aid. Nicknamed Super Bisons, they've saved lives against Russian tanks. The Mark II could enter service by 2027, with hundreds planned. It boosts jobs, too. GDLS Canada employs 1,650 in Ontario, plus thousands more suppliers. For Canada, it's about staying ready. Stronger, faster, and tougher. So, the LAV-6 Mark II isn't just metal and guns, it's a shield and sword for Canada's brave soldiers. With zippy wheels, bomb-proof armor, and weapons that hit hard and far, it keeps troops one step ahead. As threats grow, from cyber hacks to robot swarms, this new LACV ensures the maple leaf flies high in any fight. Proudly Canadian made, it's proof we're building a safer world, one armored ride at a time.